Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, um, your girl is currently doing a little bit of a face re, re, uh, rehabilitation or whatever, but I figured you guys wouldn't mind. So, with that being said, I got my results back for the pinner test. You guys know I was like so excited when I got this and when I did it, um, I pricked my finger a while back and then I just kind of like sent in my result or sent in my blood to get my results. So, with that being said, your girl is about to read her results. What's food intolerance? Food into intolerance occurs when our bodies cannot properly digest and convert the foods we eat into necessary nutrients that fuel our systems. One of the many common side effects of food intolerance is weight gain. So that's like, obviously, you guys know I'm on my weight loss journey, so I'm like, hey, this is something that I need, that you need. I'm going to try this and keep you guys in the loop, though. Um, and it says this is mainly due to the depleted levels of serotonin, the powerful chemical responsible for maintaining... <laughs> mood balance, social behavior, libido, memory, and digestive health. Food intolerance testing has improved dramatically over the last 20 years. Pitter test employs advanced microarray biotechnology that thoroughly measures um, antibody levels against the proteins of 200 foods. Um, they can identify food intolerances all with just a few drops of blood dispensed by a basic finger prick. And that was not a bad finger prick that I did. So that's what um, the pinner test does, and that's kind of like a little background just so you guys can understand. Um, sorry I was talking so much. I just wanted to explain it so you guys could learn a little more. So my food intolerance test results. It says, Dear Sydney, please find, and it says my last name, please find your enclosed results of the pinner food intolerance test. The test analyzed your blood sample for food specific, I don't know that word, reactions by microarray technology. We know from our research that many patients who alter their diet in accordance to the test results show a significant improvement in their symptoms within three to four weeks. We hope you are one of them and would be interested to learn of your progress and improvement in due course. Uh, and then it says, this is a food tolerance, and then it says important, this is a food tolerance test, not an allergy test. If you suffer from allergic or classic allergic reactions to any of these foods, do not eat them even if they are in the green column. Your test results are complementary to and not a substitute for basic medical help, for, for the best medical help. Uh, this test does, will not identify all of the different types of food sens sensitivities such as lactose intolerance and is not diagnostic for celiac disease. If your chronic symptoms do not improve slightly over the next few weeks, we advise you to contact a health professional. So it says, how to understand your pinner test report. Red column is what you should avoid, and I will be, you know, putting a thing on the side. Red column is what you should avoid. The red column indicates you have an intolerance to these particular foods, and it is suggested that you should try to eliminate them completely from your diet. <coughs> Within the next uh, three to four weeks, I'll do an update because I'm going to completely eliminate them from my diet. The green column is no reaction. So the green column indicates that you do not have an intolerance to these particular foods. The foods in the green column may be eaten without restriction unless you already know that these foods do, do cause you any negative effects such as food allergies or discomfort. There's on the report in the columns, it'll have the, like in the green side, there's no reaction obviously, and there's no degrees. So on the red side, they have degrees. If there's a food there, it will say a degree. So it says the numbers in your report next to the foods are um, you are intolerant to are the reaction levels. However, the varying levels suggest that your body has a reaction to these foods and should be avoided. Uh, plus one means low reaction, plus two is moderate reaction, and plus three is high reaction. So there's three levels of having a reaction, so we're going to go through this. So I don't have any reactions to anything in the dairy and eggs category, neither with drinks, neither with fish and seafood, neither with oh just kidding i do have one with fruits i have a reaction with fruits it is apple and i have a plus two plus two is moderate reaction so i have a moderate reaction to apples then i have no reaction to the grains category legumes meat um others seeds spices and herbs but then for vegetables i have three reactions i have a plus three which is a high reaction to onion Pumpkin is a plus two, so that's moderate, and then sweet potato is plus one. So I'm definitely going to be like looking into this because I, okay, one thing for me is I know for a fact, I have been told I should not have onion in the past. I've been told that before. Um, sweet potato, I think, was on the list of something I shouldn't have prior to taking this test. So this is like 100% real. Like they do test it because this is something that I know I do struggle with. But 
The ones that I'm going to completely eliminate from my diet are the onion, pumpkin, sweet potato, and apples. So from now on, um, I'm not going to be eating apples and peanut butter. I'll just stick to bananas and peanut butter. And I'm really excited to see like how my health goes and everything because I am trying to lose weight already. But like at the same time, apples and peanut butter is something that I incorporate in my diet. Um, pumpkin pie, pumpkin flavored things just taste good to me. Um, onions are in everything so I'm gonna definitely try and cut those out because I feel like that's a really big apples onions pumpkin and sweet potato sweet potato I usually eat during a prep so I'm just gonna stay away from that and um, yeah I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop but I figured this would be really interesting to show you guys I'm really excited to kind of see like how I feel cutting it out onions probably gonna be the hardest because onions in everything and I have so many friends that like onions so they cook with it um, personally for me, I don't like onions, so it works out. <coughs> and then, yeah, so with that being said, I just wanted to, you know, explain that to you guys and show you, but I'm excited to alter my diet, kind of like use this information that I received and put it to the to use, you know? If anyone is interested in taking the pinner test, I will have it linked down below for you. Um, with that being said, I, I'm really excited to see, like, the progress that I make and stuff and everything like that. If you guys try this out, let me know what you guys get. And I'm getting so tired right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in my next one. You guys are seriously the best. And I love you and appreciate you. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.